Hello everyone, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel and my craft table. I am so glad that you are spending your time with me today. I really appreciate every single one of you and I am so glad that you are here. If you are new, I am super excited to meet you and I am also glad that you are here and found my channel. Um, go ahead and let me know down in the comments if you are enjoying this new mic that I am trying out. You can either put a mic emoji or a smiley face emoji down in the comments just to let me know um, if you feel like this mic is a better quality than the one that I have been using. So um, I had bought a mic and been using it for a couple of months and then I've got a new mic. I'm hoping that this one is better and that um, you are enjoying the sound quality more. So today's video is going to be a small little Target haul. Um, and then actually I have two crafts that I want to do at the end with the two of my Target finds. So let's go ahead and hop in and get going. Several of the things that I purchased um, are from the Target dollar spot. You know, the area where it is three, uh, one, three, or five. So this is, uh, they actually had bigger ones that were sold as a single, but this is a double pack. This is um, little bitty candy jars. It looks like they screw on, and these were $3. They, um, these make great holders for all kinds of things. So craft things, candy things, um, really just kind of anything. And I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do with this particular set, set that I purchased. These I got at Dollar Tree. I really enjoyed the ability to, um, have some little jars that were very, um, cute, easy to decorate, and then um, allocated for specific supplies. So that was from a Dollar Tree deal, but this was from Target. And then uh, I may go back and get a couple of the larger ones, but they are just plastic and they have a cute little hexagon shape to them. And so we have that from the Dollar Spot. Then my daughter found one of these, and this is actually kind of interesting to me. I didn't know what it was at first. I just knew, I thought it was like an expandable thing, um, like those silicone bowls that you see where they kind of collapse flat, but it actually is a hard plastic here, and this is uh, just like a, like a silicone membrane, so to speak. And then it has three little latches, okay? And then it's got this little um, little flap here with a hole. I guess you could hook it onto something. But it, when I turned it over, it's a sandwich container, uh, food safe, dishwasher safe, microwave safe, as long as the lid is open. And it does say it is for dry food only. So I'm wondering if someone at some point tested out liquid. <laughs> that probably was a very funny experiment. So anyway, it just, but it does have the little etchings here that it is um, food safe, microwave safe with the lid open and dishwasher safe. But she wanted to give this a try for sandwiches this year and she wasn't real sure how it works. So what I did, it was kind of funny. So what I did, is I grabbed, there was like a soft little pouch next to it. So I, I put it in here and I said, well, it's like you stick your sandwich in there and then this part expands to the size of your sandwich so it doesn't get smushed, but this is a protective. So she thought that was the coolest thing and I decided to just let her give it a try so that she could take some yummy sandwiches to school. And so I think I might put some adhesive vinyl here on it, just some sort of design. Maybe I'll monogram it, not sure yet. Then the other, so I actually found several things more in the dollar spot. So I found this, this is a cord organizer. This was $3. And this is actually the back side. So on this end, you got an opening. On this end, you got an opening. Then you have the top, okay? And then this would be like the front side here. So 
that would be the front and your little items would hang hang up in here and you've got a place you could put your cords down in there and then they could come out um, I just think cord keepers are really cool I don't know if I could put anything on this maybe I could do adhesive vinyl but it would have to be you know pressed down into the grooves but it is really cute and um, they had a couple different colors and when I went back they only had the white one left which is fine white is great so I got a cord keeper and this by the way uh, was three dollars I got these cute little teacher trays and um, I just did a video on these that's coming um, to the channel if I haven't already posted it, but I turned these into teacher gifts. So I have the name here and then I put some goodies on top and then I wrapped everything up in cellophane and then have a bow. So they are super, super cute and these make great teacher gifts. So just to keep on hand. As far as those little teacher trays I just showed you, this is what I did with it, is I um, have the name on the middle of the pencil or the other one, and then I just threw some pencils on there and some t pencil top erasers, and then I found, I found these little notepads at Dollar Tree and I just covered them with pattern vinyl and then their name with an offset underneath to showcase that. So this is a great back to school teacher gift. So you can get those little trays at Target in the dollar spot. Another thing that I found are these sets of trays. So you have a choice of some roundish oval ones here. These are $5 nested trays. Yes, both sets are $5. And these have a little scallop edge as you can see. These are just round, different sizes, and I really like these. Again, kind of like the little, um, you know, little candy jars. I, I'm not 100% sure what I'm doing with these yet, but love trays. I love trays so much, and they have a lot of good real estate and a lot of great purposes. So definitely, if I put vinyl on these, you know, then they are no longer food safe. So I am not 100% sure exactly what I'm going to do with them, but I'm sure I will come up with some cute little craft for those. And then I ventured, well, I ventured around all over the store, but I went back to um, the, the uh, household area, and these are little mini bowls. These are bamboo melamine dishwasher safe BPA free. They're the threshold brand and they're just little bitty bowls that um, you can. I thought I have the hardest time finding little bitty ring dishes and I kind of want little ring dishes in a variety of you know sizes and styles but I saw these and they were normally $5 and I got them for $2.50 a piece. So I got two sets of this orange color and then I got two sets that were like a, this color of blue and they are just gorgeous. So, you know, I, I've got, you know, eight gifts that I can create and I'm super excited for these because these will hold a lot and they they're just they're nice and deep and they're sturdy and they're very you know they're lightweight but they are substantial so got that they were on sale for 250 i don't know why if they were on sale but they were back in the school supply section and this is actually going to be part of our craft today is i found this little um package of they are magnetic labels dry erase right on wipe off and there's 10 different colors and there's 30 of them and they are magnetic so the back side is a magnet and then there's like a real dense foam and then they have a whiteboard surface here and they're all different colors so you've got pink red orange yellow blue green purple black there's just a variety of colors in here, and I thought these would be great to use in my classroom. 
and there's 30 so I I don't really have 30 ideas or even probably two I I have one idea for sure that I'm going to craft with you here in just a moment but these would be great for the refrigerator as well um, so that's just a little brainstorm that I just came up with and you know they they work well I, I'm very excited about those and then my final thing in uh, this is actually from the teen clothing section. It's just really a pair of shorts. My daughter is headed to summer camp. And so I got her a pair of shorts and we're going to put a sweet little iron on, um, de uh, image over here. She is really into hibiscus, you know, that she calls them the Hawaiian flowers. So we're going to put a sweet little iron on over here. So I will be using my easy press mini. So let me go ahead and move all of these treasures out of the way and then we will start working on the two crafts that we have today. So my first little craft is going to be these little magnets that I just showed you a second ago. And I, I have four drawers to my filing cabinet in my classroom. So I thought I would, instead of trying to fight the sizing of the little, you know, the little um, metal thing that you put the paper in with the label. So I thought that I would just use these and just stick those right in that little space. Um, they're not permanent. They can be moved. They can be changed, etc. So I'm just cleaning these off with a little bit of rubbing alcohol, just plain isopropyl alcohol. And then there are, there's only three of each color from that, that deal where it said like 10 colors in that package. And so I decided that I would cut out, this is a good scrap buster, by the way, actually both of these are good scrap busters. So, um, I am going to just weed out I've got four of these. This is some patterned vinyl that I really like. It's a turquoise with a white polka dot pattern. And I am going to put this on top of all four and that way they all look alike. So I'm going to have these four. And then I have words for them as well. So I am going to go ahead and weed all of these out. Um, I think the words will probably take me a minute because true to form, I had to choose a font that I hope works for the tiny size that I need. I'm notorious for choosing fonts that are either way too small or the font size, the, the font size I need and the font I choose don't play well together. So it'll probably take me a minute to get all those weeded out and then we'll get everything put on to these little magnets. Okay, so I have all of these weeded out and I know it's difficult for you to see on camera because it's white on a white carrier sheet, but I have two that say assessment and one geometry and one algebra one. So now I'm just gonna use up some scrap transfer tape let me move that over there. We're just going to use some scrap transfer tape and we're going to, um, I'm going to do this two different ways just to show you. Typically what I do is I will get my transfer tape and I will put it down on my vinyl. I burnish the front and the back. So, like so okay and then remove the carrier sheet now this is the word and that this word needs to go on top of this particular deal here so let's see this is at two and a half two and a half wide and I'm just going to kind of make a little, I'm going to fold this in half and I'm just going to kind of pinch the transfer tape so I can kind of see where that is. So 
let's see, so about right here, and then in the middle. Okay, so kind of like this. So one way you can do layering is you can layer the words onto the big square or rectangle like this. And then we can actually let me get a different size transfer tape. That other one was not as sticky as I wanted anyway. Okay, so we'll use this. And then you can simply put the whole thing down at one time. The other option, and I'll show you this in a minute, is to put the blue or the turquoise rectangle down first on top of one of the magnets and then layer the words. It really is personal preference. Um, definitely when I'm doing more intricate designs, I will, I will layer everything and then I will put, um, then I will put it down. But in a case like this, this is so simplistic that really and truly I could just put the square, the rectangles down and then put the words on top. So I'm just going to line this up like this. And really, I probably could have just put that down like a sticker, but I wasn't sure how that was going to lay down. Okay, and then I'm going to just pull up transfer tape like that. Okay, so there's one. We have Algebra 1. So now I'm going to just go ahead and do the other three. And um, do the other three, and then we will move on to our next craft, which will be an iron-on craft. This one here, I'm going to just show you what I was talking about. I'm going to pull up this turquoise with the polka dot. And I'm actually just going to place it down like a sticker. It's actually big enough to do so. Get it nice and lined up, taking my time. That's something that I've, I've had to learn is making sure that I'm taking my time when I am putting vinyl down. Maybe I'll go this way. Because I have found when I rush, that things are misaligned. So it's just good to take your time. Okay, so here is this one here. And then I would use the transfer tape to put the word down. And in the, for this particular little craft, really and truly, Neither one of these methods is better than the other one, nor is, nor is it more difficult than the other one. I do wish my glass mat was magnetic. That would be really nice. Maybe Santa will bring me a magnetic glass board. This one's a nice one. I got it at Michael's. It's very big. So it is 22 inches wide and 16 inches tall. And that's just the measuring area. That's not even like the border um, area. So I would say it is 24 by 18 probably. Okay. And I really like it. But it would be nice if it was magnetic. Okay, so here's algebra and the assessment. That's funny, they're sticking to each other because they're magnetic, I guess. All right, so now we have two more. And I think that I personally just really like um, putting the words onto the rectangle. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back to my normal. So I don't know about you guys, but we only have a couple of weeks left 
before school starts. Um, I teach at high school and then this year I'm adding a college class to my resume. So I'll be teaching a uh, one evening class a, two times a week. I'm very excited about that. So it's going to be very busy. My daughter is into a lot of sports. So I will definitely be um, using a lot of coffee <laughs> this semester. There we go. For some reason I wasn't able to get that. Oh goodness. Oh, there it is. That was the weirdest thing ever. Haven't had that happen before. Okay. Maybe I burnished too hard. So this is our first craft. We have Algebra 1 and Geometry. And then we have two drawers for assessment. Basically, I just take all of my tests after each test, throw them in a file folder, and just keep them, you know, in there until the end of the year so my students can come in and uh, make corrections and retest if they're not happy with their grade or if they have any questions, I can just pull their test out and go over it with them. It's just a nice way to keep those handy. I'm very excited to find other ways to use those little 30 magnets. Now the next craft is an iron-on. So um, this is just iron-on vinyl. I am going to use my Easy Press Mini because the area is so small. I'm going to put this on medium heat. So just two little wavy lines. This will turn green and beep as soon as um, it is ready. So this particular um, image is a hibiscus and this does take a few minutes to weed. I made a shirt in a previous video with this image and so it's not a difficult image to weed but it does take a few minutes so I will probably just put on some music and speed this up for you and in the meantime just enjoy the crafting Okay, so our design is all weeded out. This is the hibiscus that you can see. And um, so actually it weeded really nicely compared to last time. So very pleased with this final. Um, you'll notice that I was, um, I just took a, the piece of transfer tape, the scrap piece, and I just kind of folded it back on itself, put it on my mat, and now all of my little scrap uh, vinyl pieces are in here. Um, this is scrap transfer tape. This isn't like brand new um, wasting transfer tape, but if you have some scrap pieces and you're ready to go ahead and get rid of them, um, they make great little holders for taking vinyl off and putting it somewhere so it's kind of out of the way. So now, let me put that over there, not there. I'm going to bring in my Easy press mat roller, and we're going to go ahead and put this design on the shorts. We've had the best time doing a lot of shopping this um, this season for school and camp, and I mean my wallet isn't having the best time. The shorts down here, 
She found this cute pair of shorts at Target. Um, this was in like the teen section. Um, kind of there in the in the front middle, you know, not the normal big huge clothing section. But and then she is all about her little Hawaiian flowers. So I said, well, I can add a hibiscus to your shorts if you would like. And she seemed to really like that. I think she's finally figuring out that pretty much I can personalize anything for her that she, that her little heart desires. And, you know, unique personal things are really fun. And, okay, so now I'm going to heat this up just for a few minutes, I mean a few seconds, not a few minutes, that would probably be tragic. It ironed really nicely too. Okay, so now I think I'm gonna put it like this. Um, I could put it like that, but I don't know. I think I, I, think I like it like this way and Gonna put that down. So that's one option. The other option is to have it go that way. That's actually not bad either. I could also put it. Now I'm making things difficult for myself, aren't I? I could put it. Ooh, actually, I think I might like that better. Okay, I'm gonna leave. I think I'm gonna go with that. That's uh, not what I thought originally, but I really like that. Okay, so now we are going to do the medium heat for 25 seconds. And I'm definitely going to monitor this project in front. So, so let me know down in the comments, like how, if you are someone who has to, um, you know, teach or take kids to school or see them off to the bus, like put a little bus emoji down in there or school emoji. Tell me how long um, that you have until school starts. I know it's not something we really want to think about here, but it is looming at us. So we might as well just enjoy and um, embrace it all together. Okay. All right, I'm gonna give this a little test just to see. Okay, I think I need more heat. That side's not really down. Okay, that side is better. All right, just a little bit more heat, maybe some more pressure. So we start the end of August and college, my college class starts the week before, so that'll be interesting. I plan on squeezing out as much summer fun as I possibly can over the next couple weeks, and she's going to summer camp, so maybe I will take some day trips. Okay, so I think that's probably good. Now, normally when I do iron on, I do turn it over, and I do go to the back just for a few seconds. And when I wash things, um, shirts I turn inside out. Um, I tend to hang dry them, but I have put them in the dryer just to see. So turning them inside out, putting them in the wash, leaving them inside out in the dryer, or you can hang dry. And then if you wanna iron your t-shirts or something that you put a design on, then just make sure that you um, don't allow the iron to come in contact with the vinyl itself. So you could turn it inside, leave it inside out and iron it, or you could put, you know, some parchment or something on top. I have had really, really, really good luck with everything I've done with iron on. Um, I'm just going to put this on my glass mat to pull out all that heat. It's pretty instantaneous. Pretty, pretty quick. 
Um, but I've had very good luck. I haven't had anything that I've made so far. Nothing has um, lifted, and I've I wear my designs and I send them through the laundry. Okay, so I think I am going to give this just a little bit more heat now that I've pulled this off. Sometimes I feel like pulling off this. Um, carrier sheet just really pulls at it and so I'm gonna bring my mat back in here there we go and then this is just like a little Teflon sheet I'm gonna cover that up and I'm just gonna give it a little bit more heat not much just a little That, that did really nicely. And then, you know, just giving it a little bit of heat um, after you pull off that carrier sheet just really seems to help it make sure that it adhered down. But, oh, how cute. These are so cute. She is going to love these little shorts. So those are the two little quick crafts I had for you today. The... Um, little magnetic um, wipe on wipe off things i just covered them with vinyl put what i wanted on them and these would make great fridge magnets as well so maybe i'll keep a couple at home for the fridge but that is the end of my little target haul and craft session if you found this video helpful informative or inspiring in any way please make sure that you hit that like button and don't forget to share with your crafty friends um, it really does help the channel grow and it's nice to uh, be able to get it out there to more people who might be interested if you are not already a subscriber I would love to have you as part of the craft community here at genuine handcrafted so don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click on the bell so you are notified when new content is posted I am going to go ahead and sign off for now. So in the meantime, enjoy what is left of your summer. Don't forget to leave me those emojis down in the description. If you um, feel like the mic quality is much better than it was before I got this new mic, go ahead and leave me like a little smiley face or a mic emoji. And then if you are um, anxiously awaiting school to start or maybe not, <laughs> Leave me a little bus emoji and tell me how long you have for the uh, remainder of your summer. And until I see you again in my next video, as always, happy crafting. Thank you all so much for watching today. I'm so glad that you can join me at my craft table. If you're not already, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you'll know when new videos arrive. Have a great day and as always, happy crafting.